Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Volcano Block. And uh, some things have happened since last episode. Uh, one, I've been working on this, uh, what is it, stone dust block. Uh, yeah, needless to say, the transformation on that takes a very, a very, very long time. So I uh, got myself busy, and I farmed a whole ton of wheat. So we can make some dirt, because I want to get some farms going, so we get normies going, and get some other stuff, uh, like beets and charcoal and stuff like that. And, yes, uh, we do have some mysterious grass. It has been spreading. I haven't actually touched it because I want to do this on camera. So, as far as I know, we break this stuff. Uh, let's check the quest book to make sure that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, apparently not in here. But I think that's what we do. We break it and then we get different things. Mysterious dust. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, the stuff I sacrificed myself for. But apparently we get... Uh, basically b turn saplings into saplings, but I think we're supposed to break this stuff. Not 100% sure. I have no idea. Any sapling, but yes, I don't have any saplings. Let's see, that thing that I need sapling to begin with. Okay. Let me have a look at this. Okay, what I think we'll do first is uh, we'll get a couple of farms set up and then I think we're going to go and plant this. But we're going to go way up there to do it. So let me give it uh, a couple stacks of dirt here. Uh, that should be enough. And I probably could have just Auto crafted it from here because it's connected to the chest. But uh, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same setup that I've got there and go from there. Uh, I have made a whole bunch of glass too. I don't know if you saw that in the other in the other chest, and that is for my own safety. Uh, grab some of that and grab some cobble while I'm at. Uh, this here was uh, me being stupid and not paying attention to where I was walking. I walked off into the lava. Uh, journey map was telling me my beacon was here. Uh, the key for my grave was telling me my grave was here. But my grave was actually all the way over here. Actually, yeah, it was right here. It took me like 20 minutes to find it. I was actually trying to break that obsidian by hand. Try to find it, but yeah, <laughs> that wasn't going to work. All right, uh, where's my wand? Where's my wand? Uh, let's see here. There's my wand. Not a whole lot of space left on it, or durability. Oh, give me that. Yeah. So, let's go over here, and we'll do the same thing. So, I'm going to do three wide. Like so, let's actually get the wand out. Make it so much easier. And I'm going to go like this for a little bit until the wand breaks out, breaks, and I have to build another one. Uh, originally, I was thinking about making the pathways glass, but I like having the grass idea. And what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to outline with cobble, and then I'm thinking about uh, possibly filling in the gaps with glass so A, we can keep the light, and B, I can keep myself safe. So let me get something set up, and I shall bring you back. Okay, so I got a couple, a couple of areas here set up. I was trying to think about what I really should get going. Uh, well, for one, it's going to be normies. We know that. Uh, I am going to get wheat going too, just because it's going to be handy having that wheat. And then we have a third farm for whatever. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. It'll probably end up being uh, probably going to end up being beets, just for charcoal purposes. Okay, I am looking for a hole. Actually, I'm looking for buckets, too. I got buckets right there. Okay, let's go over to the infinite water source. And this time, I will not walk into the lava. I should have glassed off that area, but I didn't. All right, so we got one there. And I'm actually glad I remembered to put, put water, uh, glass there. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. I just had to answer the call of nature there. Uh, what I'm going to do too before I forget and before I take a plunge again, take another hot bath, 
is I am gonna go ahead and film this because I this is where I fell and fool me once shame on me fool me twice shame on me fool me three times shame on me yada 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 you get that you know what I'm talking about uh, this is actually one of those times where I actually like having the texture of the glass because you can at least see it All right so we'll do that uh, those will be fine we'll run over here and put these last two blocks in do have everything watered uh, so I do want to get some proper lighting up here too uh, do I have charcoal on me I do I have bread charcoal the best kind of charcoal all right so we make some torches we only get three out of that but that's fine because I had some on me so yeah and then we're just gonna do the whole co floating cobble trick I don't care about the glass breaking and then that's gonna be our torches And the reason why I'm going to block up is so the plants can actually grow. Uh, that's why. And I think I might actually save the glass and just do it this way. That's not a pickaxe. I'm sure it'll work. It'll just take a very long time. Okay, then we go torch, 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 and torch. And that reminds me, I was playing Sky Factory 4 earlier. And there's actually a torch lever in the pack. It's a torch that works like a lever. So when you right-click on a torch, it's like right-clicking on a lever, and the torch actually moves. So when you right-click it here, it actually pulls it down. I thought it was kind of kind of cool. Gotta love mods. All right, so we should have plenty of light level here. All right, I need to make another hole because this one's gonna run out pretty quick. Uh, gonna have to get some more sticks pretty quick too. Uh, I did actually make a pair of those uh, heavy metal shears. They're in the other chest there. And I've noticed that uh, it's actually easier to get sticks that way by shearing grass and crafting it out of that. Alright, let's uh, burn down a hole using the proper mouse button. So this will take me a few moments so to get all this plowed and s sewed and I shall return. Okay, so there we go. I got a field of normies, I got a field of wheat, and I got a field ready to go for whatever I decide to grow. Uh, the normies are probably going to bring give me most of what I need, but now we need to go ahead and get this other thingy set up. This might actually be a good place to set it up. Let's go up here. Uh, I do have torches. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this smart helps out another shovel. Uh, just because I say I'm going to do things smart doesn't mean I'm actually going to do them smart, but I'll do them anyways. I'm going to take a shovel with me too, or another shovel, because that one might not make it for the way down. So what I plan on doing is pillaring up with cobble and having the silt on the, or the this stuff here on the other side, hopefully doesn't get affected by gravity, gravity. And then when I get to the top, I shovel down and then bring up a ladder next time. Actually, I should be doing this. Yeah, I don't trust myself on ladders. In fact, I could just do it that way. So I will meet you in the wild ready yonder. Well, here we are at 104, and uh, i got to say, awfully... Uh, calm, peaceful music for the situation I'm in. Not that it matters. I did have a torch. Good. You know what I did forget, though? Water. So I gotta go back down and get a bucket of water. But right now, I can't get back down until I do this. And we just fill her up. And then I gotta take ladders up. What I will do while I'm up here is, uh, Make sure I don't hurt myself. Or go swimming in lava. Okay, good. Those are those are stacking up. But anyways, uh, I gotta do this and then dig my way down and then ladder my way back up with a bucket of water so we can grow a plant. So I shall return.
Okay, I'm back up top. So, oh, yeah, that's not going to work too well, is it? So, I just want to expand this out a little bit. Just so when I come up, I don't have to worry about flying off the edge. And then we just got to get a, basically like a one by one thing of dirt. Or one block of dirt that's hydrated. Yes, that's the word I'm trying to use. And I think maybe. It's, uh. You know, surprisingly, this is actually kind of nerve wracking. You know, normally when you're over a void, you know, it's not going to hurt because it's going to fall into nothing. Here, uh, yeah, we're uh, dealing with uh, a lot of lava. Okay, I'll just use a grass just because. All right. And just like that. Doesn't need to be much. And we'll cobble up the rest of it. Just so I can actually grab the crops. And we are just about done. Okay. Uh, water. Okay, we'll place another torch over here because the stress light level on this one. And a hoe. And now the seed. All right, let's see what we get here. It's growing. It's a good sign. No, we get golden rods, and with golden rods we make something we can actually eat. It's quite the view. Oh, and there we go. We have golden rods. So what all do we actually use these for? Golden bread. And we use this for invisible seeds, which is going to be another another recipe. So I actually have to grab three of these. So we'll go ahead and do that. And continue on. Jeez, it's almost like we're on the sun up here. Look at it. The whole thing pulses. That's just crazy. Certainly not the view you not if you normally get in nether. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't letting me harvest it while I was shifting. Which is strange. I was doing that with the wheat, no problem. You know, when I knew I had to come up forty blocks, I kind of figured it was gonna be a little higher than that. All right, so we got that done. Uh, that is this one here. Get two more grass blocks. And that moves us on to string. Oh, string is for flax, I know that. Because I have the flax seeds downstairs. So maybe what I'll do... Uh, hopefully not kill myself on the ladder. Well, we gotta craft. We can craft that bread. But yeah, what was it? Uh, <sighs> two string and two black and bone meal. So black and bone meal is an easy one to do. Let's go down here. And actually throw it in the lava. Wait for it to come back. Okay. And string, I do believe. I went ahead and did that. Alright. Golden rod. Fishing rod for, uh, for lava. Magma string. Oh, well, gotta try this. Gotta try this. Never fished in lava before. All right. So what, do we actually see the bubbles? I don't know what 
we're supposed to do. What I'm supposed to do. Let's sit here and wait. Maybe we'll catch a pigman. Oh, there it is. If only it was that easy, huh? Yeah, I didn't see, no, realize that, but I saw the smoke particles coming. There it comes, right there. And what was that? Bonefish. So many different mechanics. You gotta love it. Come on, one more. One more. Where are you? There you are. Oh, too early. I want to see what other kind of things we can get out of here. You know, I say, oh goody, I get blaze rods, but I, for all I know, blaze rods are nothing in this pack. Magna cream, nice. We'll put a few things away and see what else other goodies we can catch here. Uh, glass, seeds, don't need seeds. Uh, got plenty of those, okay. Cast away. I'm lava fishing next to my lava fields. Well, they're technically not lava fields, but the fields in lava. Technically. Come on. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Or whatever lurks below. Another blaze rod. Well, actually, tell me what I can catch with this. No, I won't. Luck of the sea, don't you mean luck of the luck of the magma? In this case. Alright, come on. I'm just curious to see what kind of things we can get out of here. Another bonefish. Alright, so that brings us to we got blaze rods, you get bone meal for that. And golden rod, bone meal for that. Did I miss it? I think I did. Let's wait for it. And what was that? Oh, another blaze rod. Okay. So yeah, it's just for getting blaze rods. Uh, one more magic cream. Let's go for this. I have no idea why I'm doing this. I'm just doing it because it's it's different. Now, if I could be doing this in a boat in a lava lake, that'd be even better. Oh, there were some sunglasses on and SBF 3 million. Sure. I have to be sitting on a block of packed ice, though. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, so they, they can hurt you. Oh, what's this? Combustive cod. Huh. Check that out in a sec here. I think we're going to end this one in due time. Just want to see what other kind of things we can get. Something like getting slapped in the face with a, f a flaming, flaming fish, right? You know, there's the old... Uh, the old ICQ gesture, or IRC gesture, I should say, back in the day of so-and-so slap so-and-so around with around a bit with a large trout. Well, this time, it's a flaming trout. And that's, that's when you really get burned. Literally. Come on, give me this last magma cream. Here, magma cream, magma cream, magma cream. Yes, that rolls off the tongue so well. There you are. And another combustive cod. What can we actually use these things for? Food. Okay. I'm going to assume I don't have to cook them.
So who's next to the diving board? This ring at the bottom of the lake, if you can get it, you win. And another bone. So I'll be back. Okay, I have got them. So there's the two magma slime ball, or the magma, magma creams. So we'll do, get that out of the way. Uh, next we have magical clay and Eulis seeds. So let's see what's required in making this. Sand, mysterious dust, and pink dye. Well, I think I can do that. Go over here. I'll grab one of those. Uh, what was it? magical dust, bone meal, and sand? Uh, is that it? Yes. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I almost was about to say, how in the hell do I make sand? Alright, so we just go ahead and we do that. We drop that on there like so. Yes. Some people would probably think you'd act that, actually have to drop that right on the glass block. Not me. Alright, so do that. And, yeah, fishing's a good way to get bone meal. I gotta admit that. So, one of those, one of those. Actually, I think we need four of them, or is it two? Can't remember. I think it was four. Yes. Alright, so I gotta make two more pink dye then. Okay, there's that. And I got sticky fingers today, apparently. And one, two, three, four. And then I think... Oh, okay, that's all I have to do with that then. All right, and then I've already looked in this stuff. Apparently you, what is it, you cook this? Oh no, you gotta... And it uses the entire bucket of water. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's fine, and then after that, then you cook that and it gets you these composite bricks, which of course are used for our first machines, or only machines, I have no idea. Sort of guessing right now. What was I doing? Oh, yes, yes. The next one. And I figure we'll do this one before we end it because it just happens to be a plant and we have a field to fill. So, Eula seeds. I have absolutely no idea what these actually grow. And I can't wait to find out. So, I need Artesia seed, four stone dust, and a blaze powder. Okay, so blaze powder I can do. Uh, Artesia, I can do, and four stone dust. Don't mind me, I'm going to drop something on, or I pick something up that can, can actually break cobble. <sighs> Sometimes that auto Auto refill is a pain in the ass. But anyways, okay, so one, two. Take them. Take them. I could have sworn I made four blaze powder. There we go. Didn't craft it at first. Oh, it's definitely a, a Eulis seed. I can't wait to see what this thing looks like. I should have expected that. I don't know if I was supposed to read it or not, but I did. Oh, yes, and you were going to complain about light. Okay. We're on the four corners for now. Let's see if that's going to be enough. That well, seems to be. So, what do we get from this? I'm going to assume something we have to sign and agree to. 
legal stuff. <laughs> I should have known. Uh, what do we do with this stuff? Establish seeds. Okay, that's reactor. Okay, apparently it's only used for crafting these, which I have no idea what they are. And we'll have to figure that one out in the next one. With that, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.